Right, hello everybody, welcome back. It's been a pain in the arse to get this thing working, but hopefully it's working now. We're back talking about the URC because on this channel at the minute we don't talk about anything else. I'm just joking. Or am I? Uh, no, uh, there is a video on Scotland coming out soon. Obviously a couple of the nations have announced the Autumn Nations Cup. Um, squads and I want to predict Scotland's before it comes out I'm assuming it'll come out starting next week so I do want to get that done but anyway we're here to talk about the URC today round five I can't believe it's soaring by I have made predictions for every round I know I didn't do a video on it last week that's because the internet problems I apologize I did put a post out so you can still go and see them and I do still have proof that I did make those predictions um score wise I have lost count um, I will count them for the review, um, but I don't think I'm doing terribly, um, and yeah, let's go, um, it's so great to see so many people putting theirs in below, and yeah, um, having some great conversations with me about why Edinburgh are the best team in the world, and why they're going to win the league, so yeah, let's go, um, so we're going to start off um, on Friday night, as usual, we just start off in the games when they happen chronologically, um, as we head to the Kingspan Stadium in Belfast, where Ulster play Ospreys. Um, this is a decent matchup, actually. Ulster are in 8th, Ospreys are in 13th. Um, of the last... F their start to the seasons are pretty equal, I think. Uh, Ul Ulster have won 2, lost 2. Ospreys have won 1, lost 3, so not that equal. There's four points separating them, so if Ospreys were to get a win, they probably would catch them. Maybe. Um, and, yeah, um, good good matchup, although I do think this game will go to Ulster. Um, they got, they've got, shown some promise, obviously. They did have their South African tour, um, which kind of did cost them a few games, um, as not many teams do win in South Africa. Um, but I think they are getting back on track. They've got a decent win against Connet last week, I believe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say Ulster for that match. Yes, they did. Thought I knew. Thought I knew more stuff. Anyway, next up, we head to Parker Scarlets in Wales. As uh, Scarlets host the Bulls. Um, Scarlets, actually, four Scarlets have had a decent start. They're in 10th. They are two from two. Two from two from four, sorry. Um, now, I do believe those two win... Oh, no, they're one. Oh, one win, one draw. Yeah. Um, still a decent start for them. A win against Cardiff, I believe their win was. Um, was it Cardiff? Or was it Ospreys? They beat a Welsh team last week. I think it was Cardiff. If I'm not mistaken. Um, they beat Cardiff last week. Yes, they did. Um, and yeah, um, good win for Scarlet's Bulls, doing Bulls things, I think they are, th I want to say three from four, yep, three from three even, sorry, I completely forgot the South Africans haven't played the first two games, so they're actually on for a 100% start to the round, and I do think they'll get that here, um, as, I, as we've seen a couple of South African teams have been slipping up in Europe, I mean, you look at the Stormers last week, I'll get on to them, but yeah, um, but I do think the Bulls will take that game. Speaking of South African teams who've had a good start in Europe, we go to Italy, which might not be where South Africa is, but the Lions are playing there. And the Lions are also three from three. Um, Zebra um, haven't really done much apart from that win over Munster. I did put a bit of faith in them and throw at all them f to get the um, win over, was it Stormers or something like that? Yeah, it didn't quite work out the way I'd planned, unfortunately. But it was still, um, yeah, a decent decent win for Zebra, although the Lions seem pretty formidable. They've had a couple of big wins over um, Edinburgh and Ulster. Um, so, yeah, they'll be looking to keep their... to go 4-4 four from four at the start of their round, um, and I think they will. Um, yeah, I think the Lions will win that. Um, as we head now to South Africa, we've had a couple of South African teams in Europe, and now we're going to South Africa, where, oh my goodness, what a feisty game this could be. The Sharks are hosting last year's champions, the Glasgow Warriors. What a game this could be. 
Um, Sharks, again, not had the best of starts to the season. Um, they Have they even won a game yet? Yes, they have. Um, but, yeah, they, if I remember right, they shipped a big loss last week uh, to, I want to say, Benetton. Yeah, 38-10. So, really not a good game for the Sharks last week. But, yeah. Um, they are back in South Africa. They usually are quite a bit better in South Africa, as is the usually the run of things. Um, but Glasgow have looked decent. Um, they did have a little setback with that loss to Ulster in round one, but bar that, they've looked pretty impressive again. Uh, ran out a big win against Zebra um, last weekend. Um, I'm actually going to say this game's going to go to Glasgow. Um, I just think they've got something about them at the minute that just, yeah. You know, the Sharks, I know they're at home, they've had a fairly rough start to the season in Europe. They will want a big statement win, but I just think the Gla Glasgow are too good at the minute, I want to say. Uh, that could bite me. It usually does, but yeah. Next up, we have the Kings of South Africa back in South Africa. Munster are back. I believe, was it six in a row or something like that they are in South Africa? Uh, it's their chance to make it seven against an incredibly struggling Stormer side. Um, 16th place, I think they may have won one game uh, I don't think anyone's winless they have although they've not really done anything else they got a, they shipped a massive loss to Edinburgh last weekend that's raised a lot of questions um, yeah Monster obviously lost that sellout match at was it Croke Park to Leinster um, yeah I I, I think Monster will take the Stormers. I think there's something quite wrong in there. Um, now, yes, I do believe that they've not been full strength. But, I mean, you look at the Edinburgh game last week and they genuinely struggled with basics. You look, they could, they could barely catch a ball. Now, I know the weather wasn't the best. I mean, I was at the match. It wasn't great. It wasn't shockingly bad, but there was rain. Um, but still, for... A professional rugby team, their hands were absolutely shocking. Um, so I do think that game will go to Munster. And speaking of being in Edinburgh, um, it's an all capital class as Edinburgh host Cardiff at the Hive. Cardiff obviously had a really good start to the season, went two from two and have slipped up the last two games um, to Glasgow and somebody else, Scarlets. Um, yeah, Edinburgh um, had a fairly mixed start to the season, had a couple of close losses to some decent teams, then got absolutely thumped and played like no other team had ever played before that bad against Lions. And then came back and got a decent win over the Stormers. Um, yeah, this could be a decent game. Edinburgh start to build some momentum. Cardiff starting to lose some momentum. I do think this way will go the side way of Edinburgh. Um, just at home, um, again, point to prove. If they get this win, you'd probably say they'll be back into the top eight. I know it's still only round five, but it's important that they do get wins. Um, yeah, um, Edinburgh are, should win this game. Um, next up, we go to the Dexcom and Galway. as It's an all-Irish affair. It's Connor host Leinster. Um, Connor or Sat. Fifth, two from two, two from four even. Um, so a fairly mixed start from them. Um, obviously losing last week to Ulster. Leinster, I mean Leinster or Leinster, perfect start to the season as per usual. Top of the table as per usual. Um, gonna get shocked in the semi-final as per usual. I'm joking, we don't know yet. Uh, with Jody Barrett, I doubt it, but we'll have to wait and see. Um... Yeah, this could be a decent game. I do think Leinster will take it because it's Leinster and the inevitable in the pool stages, in the group stages. Um, yeah, Connacht could put up a fight. I mean, I don't think they've been thumped or anything. I think, you know, they ran Ulster pretty close last week. They're at home. Um, it'll probably be a decent atmosphere, but I just think Leinster will just be slightly too strong for them. 
And last but definitely not least were Rodney Parade, Dragons versus Benetton. Dragons again off to a decent start in the league for them. Um I believe they are one win from four, so yeah, not great. But they are sat in eleventh, they've picked up a few bonus points, um, which is actually good to see from them. Um that's because I predicted them at the bottom of the table. They've actually started off well. Um, Benetton, though, are, have started dreadfully from them. They are one win, one draw from four. Um, now, yes, their win came last week against Stormers. Uh, Dragons got thumped by Leinster last week. Um, yeah, um, Benetton... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with them at the minute. Um, I don't know if they're just tired or what. But this should be a fairly routine game for Benetton, you'd think of last season. However, the Dragons have seemed like a fairly formidable side. Um, you know, they've they've ran a few teams close. They beat Ospreys in the first game. I mean, we'll, we'll ignore the Leinster game last week because that's... Uh, was it last week they played Leinster? Or am I getting things muddled up? No, it wasn't last week they played Leinster. They narrowly lost to the Lions last week. So they are pushing de decent teams. My apologies, I'm getting my weeks mixed up. Is it round three? They did get thumped by Leinster in one, one of the rounds. I think they narrowly lost to the Sharks in round three. Was it round two? Yeah, round two. Jeez. Sorry, th these rounds are going far too quickly. Um, but yeah, they've run a couple of South African sides close in the last couple of games. Benetton just haven't seemed quite there. Um, Outside of that big win against Sharks last week. So yeah, I do think this will go the way they tallied, so they've got a fairly, um, what should be a comfortable game for them to turn things around, and yeah. So there is my predictions, I have gone with Ulster to beat Ospreys, Bulls to beat Scarlets, Lions to beat Zebra, Glasgow to beat Sharks, Munster to beat Stormers, Edinburgh to beat Cardiff, Leinster to beat Connacht, and Benetton to beat Dragons. Let me know your predictions, your thoughts. Um, as I said, I should be back maybe tomorrow with my predicted Scotland. I'm going to say 41 because that's the number that's been thrown around when the pundits and that are, and other YouTubers are predicting sides they usually seem to be thrown around about 41 so i'm gonna aim for that amount let me know if it's a different number but from what i've seen online it seems to be 41 and yeah thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully the wi-fi is fixed and i can be back um i do apologize again nothing i can do about it but thank you